Good morning. Welcome to the next edition of the Southern Family Table here at Martin Family Homestead. The recipe I'm going to show you today is a slow cooker Spanish chicken and rice recipe. You add part of the ingredients now and then part of them uh, later on. So I'm going to sh I'll show it to you in two different parts. Uh, so let's get started. The original recipe calls for four chicken breasts, but I'm only using two because mine are large. One chopped onion. If you can see, see the onion. I know my lighting is terrible. I'm sorry. One one chopped onion. You have three. Uh, bell peppers, one yellow, one red, and one green, chopped. You have four tablespoons of taco seasoning, four tablespoons of minced garlic. I'm sorry, it's real life here, guys. Uh, one can of diced tomatoes, one can of Rotel, um, and then one can of tomato paste. You can use two cans of diced tomatoes instead of a can of Rotel if you prefer. Um, that's basically your preference. So, here we go. Okay, you're gonna put the lid on. Okay, I have set mine for eight hours on low, which is the, uh, the lowest I can go on my low, but you cook it for six hours on low or until the chicken is done, and then um, we'll add the rest of the ingredients. Okay, it's time to add the next set of ingredients to our slow cooker meal tonight. So I've already undone my lid, so I'm going to go ahead and set this to the side. And I've started up some. Uh, the chicken has started breaking up some. Um, mine was still partially frozen, so um, it'll be ready in plenty of time. Okay, so the rest of your ingredients that you're going to add here at the, uh, when you have two hours left on your cook time is you've got, I hope you can see okay, um, a can of chickpeas or garbanzo beans. Sorry can of black beans and a can of corn. Now I used frozen corn because I didn't have any canned corn so I just kind of you know put in the equivalent of what a can would be. So drain everything and I always rinse mine. Um, then you put that in and you're also going to have about a half a cup of fresh cilantro uh, chopped up. You're going to give it a stir. So you're going to put your lid back on. If it has a lock, lock it in place and let it cook for two more hours. Okay, here's our Spanish chicken and rice all done. I have wild rice down in here underneath. The chicken has been shredded. So, and it's looking very, okay, very guys, good. It's, it's really good. I, I really like it. It does need a little bit of salt. Um, the recipe didn't call for any, which was surprising. But I went ahead and made it as is. Um, but it's very good. Very good. It's still pretty hot, so I can't eat a whole lot just yet. But um, if you add, add a little bit of salt to it, at least individually, I think it's going to be perfect. It's a, it's a great meal. I think it's going to be very filling. Um, and I, I definitely, I think, will make this again. I'll get Michael's opinion here in a little while. I don't know if Katie will eat any tonight or she'll eat any tomorrow. It depends because she gets home late tonight. But um, I'll let you know what everybody thinks. I don't understand why she had you wait on adding the beans and the corn because you can cook beans and corn all day long in a crock pot and they're not mushy unless you just really, really overcook them. So I'm not sure why. I, so I think next time I'm going to add everything in except this fresh cilantro and I will save that till towards the end. 
um, but it was very good. Um, the cilantro was not overpowering. You know, you kind of wonder at a half cup if it's going to be too much or not, but it really was just about right. But you know, if you don't like cilantro or you don't like a lot of it, then you know that one uh, that excuse me that particular um, ingredient I think you could feel free to play with a little bit. Um, but everything else I think was perfect. It wasn't spicy really. Um, you know, I had just a little hint, but nothing. You know, it was not hot at all. So if you don't like spice this is going to be really good um, you can like I said earlier you know the recipe said you could use either two cans of diced tomatoes or a can of diced tomatoes and a can of Rotel um, and I, I chose to use the can of diced tomatoes and a can of Rotel because we do like a little bit of spice in our food um, some more than others but I normally keep it on the mild side so that way everybody's happy so anyway we definitely give this one a thumbs up it would definitely go in my meal rotation um, super quick and easy to make um, so I'll leave a link down below for where I found um, the recipe at so you guys can make it yourselves so, hope you have a good day and I will see you again next Thursday for another new recipe bye